Yo, what is up guys? So for today I'm talking about Iron Banner and why it's just continuing to show me why Destiny is just becoming fucking garbage. And you might you might disagree. You might be like, Tony, this is a good season for ten dollars. I, I don't care, dude. Like you could tell me it's ten dollars, but like I could find better experiences for ten dollars, so don't come at me with oh, it's only ten dollars. I don't dumb. Dumb. So for me, in my opinion. There's just nothing to do like really like okay so before i start going off on it let me let me just say real quick i don't appreciate the fact that we're getting an armor set from destiny vanilla 2 or destiny 2 vanilla again and again twice that's twice we got it we got it in destiny 2 vanilla and we're getting we got it in menagerie and we're getting it again i don't appreciate that now what would have been my solution i'm hearing from people tell me listen my solution for this would have been all right guys you we need to we need to make iron truage the the season nine van or the season nine iron banner armor like we just we don't have enough funding we don't have the artists even though we have a bunch of people probably doing a lot of shit for eververse but we don't have enough for for this one activity that has been in the day in the game since uh destiny one e ever but fuck that don't think about that we have to reuse the skin again, again. What do we do? Okay, aside from all the salt, what I would have done is immediately make the Iron Remembrance armor, Iron Fellowship armor, Iron Simiki armor, make them all ornaments. That's immediately what I would have done. Either that or bring back season two or three Iron Banner sets. Either of those would have been fine. A combination of both would have literally been like, all right, cool. I see you guys. Y'all really trying to wow me because that would have wowed me. Instead, what did we get? We got Iron Truage. That's it. There's nothing that like, there's no like, oh, oh, is it? No, no it's just Iron Truage 2.0. 3.0. My apologies. It's Iron Truage 3.0. Oh my God. <laughs> That is wild. So essentially, Iron Banner is not only do we have the worst, worst quest step in the fucking franchise I've ever seen in my fucking life in an Iron Banner, but it was so fucking revolting doing it. Like me physically doing the act of getting heavy and killing 10 people. Oh my god, guys. I. I if I can explain to you how I felt, it'd take me a fucking hour, but I don't have an hour. So I think my, I think my main issue aside from the quest step is the fact that they have so much to pull from. They have Iron Banner season one, two, they have, or I'm sorry, they have Iron Banner season two and three. They have, they have the Forsaken armor set. They have the season of the forge season of the drifter and not season of uh menagerie whatever because that's iron truage but they have they had five armor sets to pull from and you're telling me the go-to was iron truage that you guys used already in menagerie i would really love to talk to whoever thought that was a good idea and just be like like no not even shade just be like why did you think that was a good idea please explain to me your thought process that way i can literally tell you how wrong you fucking were because iron iron truage getting it once was dope i i remember when it first came out i was like that looks fucking cool especially the helmet oh my god it looks amazing until i realized that you couldn't change the gold tint then i was like i oh, fuck this armor i don't care second time i got it uh I, I got this already i already had this i don't want to see this again when i got it gold tinge still doesn't change color fuck this armor third time what the fuck i got this like three times already why are you giving me this and then put a co different color in it fuck doesn't change the gold tim fuck this armor it's literally the same fucking thing that i've been doing so why are you giving me armor that i've already gotten that's what i want to know like what's the thought process of giving me 
an armor set that I've gotten already, and I know I'm saying this again already, but it's just worth repeating. Why are you giving me armor that I've already gotten twice? Oh, it's because it's armor 2.0. I don't give a fuck if it's armor 2.0. There's nothing new about it aside from stats. There's like, I'm like I'm telling I'm telling you, if you have given if you gave us the option to get ornaments from season two to season season of the drifter i would have been completely fine i would have been like this is cool like can you imagine iron banner but this time saladin's like all right guardian here's a quest step to get an armor set this this would have been it this this seasons would have been it because he would we would have, we would have been like all right you're you're, you're you're getting you're getting, the, you're getting the iron true watch set right okay yeah i already got it i'm mad furious mode engaged why why am i getting the same armor Saladin would have been like, calm down, fam. Let me tell you what you get. And I would have been like, wait, what? First, you can do these. Give us the season two and three quest steps to get the ornaments. That would have been awesome. For the Iron Pledge, you have to do these, these certain quests. For named lords ornaments, you have to get these certain quests. And then for the Iron Remembrance armor, Iron Fellowship armor, Iron Simicky armor, you have to do these. I would have been like, yo, are, uh, really? Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I haven't been posting anything Destiny 2 related, mostly because I don't play the game right now because I just, there's no fucking point. There's nothing to do. But also because once I got the Iron Truage set and noticed that there's just no difference and it doesn't, it doesn't even come out in your collections. Like there's, there's no point in getting this armor. There's no point in getting this fucking armor. So, because I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 all this fucking time, compare this. To fucking this. You guys will see why I don't play it. But if you had, if, if Saladin had told me, if he had told me, Guardian, Young Wolf, because that's what you fucking are, even though you, whatever. So, Guardian, you can get all this armor and make them into ornaments. I would have been like, oh shit, oh shit. That probably would have been the best Iron Banner in my life. Probably, most likely. Aside from like maybe one Destiny one year or something, but that would have been one, two, three, four, five, six armor sets that I would immediately be grinding. That would have taken so much of my time. That would have made me play. Now, granted, would I have had fun? Most likely I would have had fun, but it's more along the lines of like, I don't have all of the Iron Pledge armor sets like at all. I got one armor, one, one arm, from like a random season three Iron Banner fight. I got it and I was like, oh fuck no. I got so mad because now it's just gonna show up here forever. Oh, you don't have all these. So that's cool, but it would be awesome. It would be awesome if we were able to get all of these other, or or like all these other armor sets that I've had in the past as ornaments for one armor set. But you know what's gonna happen? And you know what's gonna kill me? Cause I'm probably super right. They're gonna, at this point, I'm pretty sure Bungie's like, all right, cool. We have enough backstock. 
of iron banner armor that we can just keep rotating in and out. And then, and then, when people get really mad and really just desperate, like when we get desperate, we just make new armor. Because I can guarantee fucking to you that the next Iron Banner armor set, it's either going to be A, garbage, or B, one of the old armor sets that we already had. Would I like it if they gave us one of the season two or three armor sets? Personally, I would not. I would like it if it was like more added into it. Like you get this new armor set, plus you could get an ornament from the old seasons. I would be okay with that. That would be dope as fuck. Give me, it would give me more incentive than just to play the like matches of like the bounties and then the armor. I'd actually play more. But most likely, Iron Remembrance is gonna come back in some form with a different shader, and that's just gonna be the new armor. The same thing f goes for the Iron Fellowship armor, the Iron Simiki armor. They're probably just gonna start rotating it, rotating it in and out. And the reason would probably be is because, oh, we don't have enough development time. We just don't have enough time because making games is hard. It's just hard in general, you know, typical shit. So if you, if you guys think I'm being hard on Bungie, like let me know in the comments below, but like, listen, listen, this is, this is my reasoning because when I go to work and my boss tells me to do something, I don't have the luxury of going, uh, that's a little too hard, man. With the tools that I have, that's too hard, man. Uh, no, I'd get fired. I'd get fired or I'd get sent home without pay. So why are you guys giving Destiny or Bungie leeway when in your own jobs, they wouldn't give you the same? Like, I don't understand where this thought process is coming. And you know what, I com com completely, I'm completely, I'm completely on board with the notion that crunch is horrible. Crunch is horrible. Devs should not be working that hard. It's not a sweatshop. But I mean, some sort of hard hard work needs to be done, hence work. So for me, I don't subscribe to the notion of like, oh no, man, like their, their dev team's so small. Like they need to like make DLCs like this so that they can survive and not go crazy. Make the team bigger. Like, what's the point? And don't tell me they don't have money because they made all their money from Destiny 1 and 2, a fuck ton of money. They made the money from Activision when they gave them the money. They made the money from the DLCs, from selling the game, from the microtransactions. Do you know how, many, how much fucking money they made in microtransactions, bro? Don't tell me Bungie's, oh, they're just scraping by. That's the farthest thing from the fucking truth because microtransactions i don't know if you guys know this but microtransactions they don't have nothing there's no negative to them there's no like they don't have to make anything all they have to do is make the armor or whatever they need to do and sell it and it's digital which means they don't have to like make copies or anything like that that's all profit bro so yeah i don't like this i don't like this shit i don't like the fact that we're probably gonna get another armor set from another season. I don't like the fact that that's that's it's really okay. I'm gonna calm down because I'm, I'm gonna start getting mad. But essentially, what I think is gonna happen is they're gonna start giving out the old ar iron armor sets from different iron banners with a different shader, obviously. And it's really wild to me that we couldn't even get a fucking bow for this season. Like we didn't get anything new for the iron banner. And that, that, I think that's what kills me the most is because I know a lot of people don't like Iron Banner, but I've liked Iron Banner since it first came out in Destiny 1. Like, I've loved it. I love the idea of it because it's fucking cool, especially when you get into the lore. The lore is fucking awesome. So for them to, like, do Iron Banner this dirty, give us arm, an armor set that we've gotten three times already. I. Ugh. It's just, it's, mm -mm, I don't like it. So let me know what you guys think. Am I being too critical? Am I being too this or that? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let's in the description below. I'd like to thank everybody who has liked, comment, subscribed, everything. I really do appreciate it. it keeps me going. And other than that, I will see you guys later.